You're watching 30 Miles Out Kayak Fishing TV. 30 Miles Out is presented by McCain High Performance Graphite Rods. Make every cast count. Oh yeah, so we're going to meet Dean Ryan, a Pensacola awesome jig maker on the Pensacola Pier, and we are going to be doing some jig chunking off the pier. See what goes down, middle of the day. Hey, let's go catch up with Dean, check out his jigs and sling some, sling some lead, man. Yeah, yeah we made it last time. Yeah, the last time on the pier. Good, how are you? All yeah, right, man. the slammer and a 4500, so I got the slammer 55 and the 4500 for spanish or whatever cool i think i just got like a three or four thousand oh is that those yeah check this out i think it's just perfect. all right let's hit the pier what have y'all been seeing selfish we've been seeing selfish run along the pier um sometimes they eat sometimes they don't yeah. <laughs> Throw anything from a spoon to a cig. Uh, we saw selfish and a buddy of mine, all he had was a 4000 series, so you can't really throw a 4000. I mean, you could, but it would be <laughs> tough. Heck of a fight, yeah. Yeah, yeah it's dead oh, man, still. It's beautiful out. Take a look at this beautiful water. It's like an aquarium, y'all. Several sharks out here already. Got a nice shark right here. That's a, that's a big shark. Wow. Got another one on that side? Teresa's saying there's sharks everywhere today. Of course, there's plenty of people swimming with them, too. Oh, yeah, look how pretty. Aquarium, man, look at that. Is that a black tip? All right, check this out. You have a good sized black tip or bull shark right here. And he's within, I don't know, 80 yards of a bunch of people swimming, maybe a dozen people right here. For whatever it's worth, we swim with sharks all the time. We're just not aware of it. They're just not that interested in us. If sharks were keyed in on people as a food source, there would be no such thing as swimming at the beach. Move toward the end, is that the game plan? Yeah, sounds like a good idea, let's do it. There we go, we got a nice shark right there. These two young guys were all excited about catching one of those sharks. Dean was explaining to him that the pier doesn't really allow that, and I was trying to tell him the best place to catch them and the easiest place to catch them is on the beach somewhere. I was telling him that all night long and early in the morning you can catch those sharks first, second gut. It's a lot of fun and real easy to land them when you're on the beach. Just start off throwing jigs and uh, see if we can get anything stirred up. Run, man. These ones you gave me today, are they too light for this far up? Probably, I got a couple extra. truck. Dean makes and sends these jigs all over the US and beyond. He puts a lot of time and effort into them and they're all highly effective. We're going to try to sling some today off the pier and see if we can get some to eat one. That's a few bait. All right, Dean and I kind of work together on this little, this little silver dart right here, man. I have faith in this dude, especially off the beaches and stuff. That little one still throws. Yeah. I'm gonna try it first. I'm gonna put the big one on. Let it sink. I'm gonna put on a bigger jig. One more? Yeah. Yes, sir. 
are the custom sleighs, the Remora. Even though you're a nuisance. <laughs> Dean was saying here that he's fishing the middle water column. He's using that seven strand uncoated wire that we all use. Super flexible stuff. There's a killer color. I love that color. Yeah, maybe we should make some big ones. Even the snapper are checking it out. That's, mm -hmm. that's yeah, man, flash. You, I love flash. There's a ton of positives to this pier fishing. Number one, it's very relaxing. You're kind of just sitting out there in the Gulf of Mexico with the sea breeze and the salty air and it just feels very good. Number two, it's a bird's eye view for the fishing that we can do in the kayaks, BTB. A little bit more of a finesse rig. He's um, trying to hook up with a sail. So fluoro instead of wire, small treble. We were messing around over at the end. Somebody behind us started screaming, shark, shark. Uh, seven or eight foot. Oh, hammer hit. Holy smokes, that's a big dude. Look at that, that's a big hammerhead, y'all. Beautiful. Look at him trying to eat the fish that's following him. <laughs> that was a big shark. Got what? Had about a five foot bull shark. Nice. What happened? Popped off? Got me on the pylon. Uh -huh. We were talking about the sharks being so thick right now. You said uh, the bulls are thick around the skipjacks, ladyfish? They eat them like this guy had three on earlier, and there's like five bull sharks up on top trying to. Eat the skipjacks off of a sabiki rig. That was a nice hammerhead that came by. That dude earlier was talking about seeing you know, a 13 footer. <laughs> like, if you actually saw one that big, you'd be like, damn, that thing's giant. <laughs> we saw one the other day out here look like a submarine. It's giant. So the cold fronts trigger the sails? Is that what you're saying? Yeah, kind of like the. It, it makes the values go on the beach because the beach gets like this where it's flat calm. Right. And big school of valley here get in here and sails and dolphins. Black continues get in here and eat them. There'll be, there'll be acres of a valley who's coming down. Like, really? I mean, they'll come by for 10 minutes. It'll be the same school swimming by for 10 minutes. That's a fall thing, though. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. Well, let's see what happens. This fella was bouncing a small spoon off the bottom, and he was catching all kind of stuff, mostly bait. A lot of people were keeping it for bait. This is a needlefish. Now he's got a baby Jack Cravel. It's a good looking Spanish. Yeah. Yeah, man. That's yeah. awesome. Could have got you? Kind of got you. Sweet. Right if I put you on? I don't care. All right. Well, Greg's hammering the Spanish on the gotcha plugs. Hope we get some more stuff. Other than that big hammerhead, that was the most excitement we've had. The vibe on the Pensacola Pier is great. Everybody was helpful and kind. They all seem to work together really well and help each other out. Nice to meet you, buddy. Got anything yet? Huh? Like 25 I saw yesterday. 25 what? Man, that's a honk in Spanish. Woo, bruiser. Cal hooked him up. He swiped at it. I'll I got a gas if you want. If you want to lower him, I'll grab him again. Yeah, please. <laughs> like I said, everybody's real patient with each other and quick to help. Go ahead, reel in your slack. That's a big one. Yeah, I can't get him on. Wow. 
pick it up by its mouth. Yeah. Oh, you go. Are you really playing? Let's see, go. He's probably 22. Oh, yeah. Thank you. Bigger than the cooler. That's the size you catch trolling in the kayak offshore. You like kayak fish? Oh, yeah. The kayak fish all over. Awesome. Yeah, this is a kayak fishing show. In fact, 30 miles out, if you get a chance, you'll be on it. <laughs> oh, wow. Yeah. I've seen you on YouTube. Yeah? Yeah. yeah. yeah Everybody cool. spends their time looking really close at the manta rays and the sea turtles passing through. He's catching bait and just waiting for that occasional kingfish, shark, sailfish and who knows what but when they do pass they throw at them pedro here just got a brand new van stall reel and he was excited to use it let's check out the action on dean's jig yeah right here is where i can see it good It's a monster. I think it was 22. 22. 22 inches. Top water? Yeah. Top water. That's a sandwich. Aside from that big Spanish, we've been catching a lot of little small stuff, a wide variety of small stuff, but yet small. Haven't hooked up to anything big yet. Off the bottom. Really? Well, there you go. Awesome day on the pier. No monsters caught. It's cool stuff, though. I stayed right on the other side of Chattanooga, Tennessee. Mm -hmm. right. Monticello. Yep. Yeah. Manta Ray. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Manta Ray. Big Manta Ray. Damn. Big Manta Ray, people. Yeah, big Manta Ray. There's a big phobia under them. There's something under them. Big old Dean said he saw a Kobe underneath that ray and he was on it. That's why I didn't say anything. I saw that's a big freaking ray. <laughs> Dean's explaining to me here he saw a Kobe underneath that ray, but he couldn't get him to eat. He's all jacked up. <laughs> all jacked up on Manta Ray. Nowhere to go. <laughs> They, they want the color, but it ain't got to be perfect. And you, you'll you see on some of the jigs, like this one here, I got, you know, the paint's coming off a little, you know, the fish still eat it. Oh, yeah. Now, every sure. once in a while, I'll put, I'll put eyeballs up here, real nice, nice big eyes on the top for uh, vertical jigging for, like, the AJs. Um, Rainbow Runner will hit it every once in a while. Heck, I've had kings hit it in the past. Really? Yeah, nice kings. They'll hit them in the past. So you can, you can even troll these lures. And, I mean, I had... I don't know how true it is, but I had a guy tell me he caught pike on them. I, I, I sent I sent some spoons up to uh, Missouri, and a guy he sent me a couple pictures of some pike that he caught on trolling them, and that was interesting because I I'll be honest I don't know much about freshwater. I know the bare minimum. And that's cold water freshwater. So that's yeah. Like a whole nother. Oh, <laughs> uh, you can look me up on Facebook at Dean Ryan. Message me, and if I don't message you, I promise I'll get back to you as soon as I can. I can ship anywhere in the country, anywhere you want. I can ship it to you. Canada as well. I, I can. I ship overseas. Australia. I got, yeah. I got customers over in Australia that you know. So it was really, really peaceful. Everybody was having a good time on the pier. Then all of a sudden, out of nowhere, we hear a lot of splashing going on. We don't know if it's fish or what, and we look down, and this is what we see. Gonna get in trouble being out this far. I mean, what is she doing? She's, all, she's up under now. She's like, y'all better not hook me. What a knucklehead. She did. Oh, no. That's a knucklehead. <laughs> I'm telling you. Hammerhead was over here a little while ago. That one right there, uh, 
chase him. Oh, yeah. He fought it all the way down. Did he? Yeah. He's swimming under the pier. Knucklehead. They were looking through the cracks to see if they could see her. At first, we started off with a lot of concern, and that quickly changed. Where you at, dumbass? Not smart at all, especially with all the bait running around here. That's the she bait? Was she was swimming going this there way. Therefore, sharks. We're going that way? <laughs> yeah, all she, she has to do is We've been throwing cut over. bait in all yeah. day. Oh, yeah, and they're all worked up. You see? I didn't throw nothing at you. You're not supposed to swim within 300 yards of the pier. Where's the shark? There's a lot of sharks. We've seen like six no, sharks. Hey, listen, what are you going to do about a shark? You know what I'm afraid of? The jellyfish. That sucks. That's the man of war. That is bigger than your heads. All combined. That's awesome. Why are you so well, aggressive? Mad. Why are you so mad? You're breaking the law. But you're We're breaking the law. We're not throwing nothing at you. You're at a fishing pier. We're fishing, you idiot. I know you're trying God, you're retarded. I'm trying to score. Go, go. Please let me score. Hey, I got FWC to come out here if you want to deal with that. Yeah. Swimming under the pier. Look, she's grabbing the fishing lines now. She, she's pulling people's lines. What is this chick doing? Holy smoke, this is genius. <laughs> oh my God. We had decided to head back toward home. We did, but as we were walking out, you could see the drunk girl swimming under the pier uh, up to the beach. And by the time we got to the end of the pier, she was at the pier stand buying two beers, headed down the pier to harass the guy. Where are you from? Upstate New York. Oh, upstate New York. I live here now, though. Thank oh, okay. You. Yeah. You're, you're local now. Yeah, I'm local now. I appreciate you watching, man. Yeah, man. You got me through some tough times. Yeah? Up there in New York, yeah. Oh man, I'm glad I could help any kind of way. I'm nice down here now in paradise though. I love it. <laughs> I love it. What you going chase tonight? Whatever will bite. <laughs> yeah. You this know? Is, the Spanish are popping off right yeah, now too. I'm got set up for them. Cool. Cool, cool. Yeah, man. Nice, nice to, to meet, meet you, you, brother. All right, man. Take care. Good luck. So this is the crazy drunk girl that was swimming under the pier, cussing and yelling at us. She swam back to the beach, got out to the base of the pier. Now she's bought two beers. And she's about to head to the end of the pier and start causing trouble. All right, so we ran into the girl. She got on the pier. She's headed over there with two beers. We just told uh, the, sheriff's the sheriff's department about it. And I guess they're going to run down there on the four-wheeler. Yeah, she's on the pier. Headed to the end. <laughs> there goes the sheriff. Fortunately, the sheriff's office is right here by the pier. It's, it's going to be a quick recovery. <laughs> yeah, it should be. Right. We'll, we'll show you the end how it goes. Dean gives me a call says she's down here at the end of the pier yelling at everybody. King mackerel. Ah! Yeah, first day out with the stall. Really? First day out, just left the shop. Never landed a legal king. Here we go. Really? What is it? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> what did he hit? Uh, man, dead cigar minnow. Dead you know how we were throwing the live hardtails? Mm -hmm. And then I was, like, I was like, I, I was like, hey, honey, go get a, uh, a box of cigars, minnows. And I threw it out and chomp, chomp, chomp. Zzz, gone. We got a video of it. Oh, yeah? Yeah. yeah we'll I, show you. I knew I sent you a snapshot. I wasn't able to get the actual footage, footage like I wanted. Ty, you just left and we hooked up on a king. King Mackerel on, fixing the gap. And good king. I'll send you a picture whenever we get him up on deck. Your picture. Pedro with the king. Yeah, bro! King on his new stall. Hell yeah, brand spanking new, 250, first day out. <laughs> Her arrested and a king. Back to back. Two caught, same good fish, day. Man. Good fish. Oh, I'm so happy, dude. 40 what inches? Or uh, what? It was 33, 30, 30 something. 30. He hit it on the straight off the tip. Cigar. Straight off the tip on a cig. He was snobbling like I was talking about. Dead bait just kind of twitching it around. And um, as, soon as, as soon as he twitched it one time, man, that king came off the bottom and just nailed it. As soon as he hit it, I said, free spool. Free spool, took off. Man, he set the hook and it just, <laughs> just ripped probably about 150 yards of line right off. Man, crazy. Dude. Speaking of crazy. Certified. 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 
Right here. Troublemaker. Troublemaker. Hey. My guess. What a great day on the pier with a great bunch of guys. Congratulations to Pedro for his first king and his first fish on his new reel. I love it, man. What is he hooked up? I was like, what is it? He said, king. I was like, oh, crap. I pulled out my pocket. I ran into my bag and got it back. And the first thing I popped up was Snapchat. So I was like, Snapchat. They let her go. Where are you from? She said, New Orleans. I said, ma'am, in the state of Florida, you got to be within 300 yards of up here. I don't effing care, blah, blah, blah. I'm just letting you know. She's man. from New Orleans. <laughs> She's probably one of my cousins. <laughs> what an epic and crazy evening at Pensacola Pier. Whew. You never know. Never know. I have never, yeah, I'm 43, I've never I've been on lots of piers. <laughs> I have never seen a woman swim underneath the pier and to the yank end. on people's fishing lines to the end of the pier we had just seen a hammerhead shark why is it blinking i don't know don't forget to like and subscribe we'll see you next time right here on 30 miles out